What's up, EDG family? Kevin here, and today we are doing probably the most disgusting thing we've done on this channel, if I'm being honest. <laughs> uh, this was something I've been wanting to do for a couple weeks. In fact, if you've seen the podcast on the Discord, you know this was one of those things that, if we get time, I was going to do a couple weeks ago. But October is almost over. I didn't want to wait too much longer. And to be honest, I'm still a bit nervous about this one. This is a flight of pumpkin spice beers pumpkin beers whatever you want to call them they are from across the u.s and uh, we're gonna do kind of a do a tasting so if you had say you know a host that really really liked pumpkin beers and you were gonna pick some stuff up take it over to uh their house hopefully this gives you an idea of maybe what to uh gravitate towards and what to stay away from that is the goal of all this i will tell you i am not necessarily doing this for myself i uh I'm questionably uh, questioning this video right now, but we're gonna go ahead and get into this. We'll get these, uh, we'll get these opened up. We'll taste them. I'll tell you uh, about each one and uh, what I think about each one. Be right back. Okay, so like I mentioned, slightly fretting this one only because I'm gonna be completely honest, I am not the biggest fan of pumpkin beer. I'm not, I don't dislike it, I don't hate it, I just haven't really ever found one I necessarily really, really liked. There's a couple, um, I believe there's a left hand uh, nitro pumpkin spice latte I have had that I did think was enjoyable for most of, most of the poor. Towards the end, kind of like, Ew, eh, you know, I don't know. This is already kind of giving me the heebie-jeebies a little bit. I was a, originally going to do this uh, as a cooperative tasting. Um, run out of time for that, so I figured with it being pretty late in October, Halloween this is probably going to drop on Halloween if I'm, you know, thinking about it. I want to get this out there, but I do have five different five different crafts. Um, the first one over here is Great Divide. That is in Colorado, Denver, and this is Pumpkin Ale, 6.5 ABV. And I do think this is probably going to be the most the most vanilla, I'm thinking. I'm not really sure. This is kind of the order I put them in. It's going to go from pretty plain Jane to, well, atomic pumpkin spicy. So uh, this one here is probably the hardest one to find nationally. This is a local for me. This is Wichita Brewing Company. This is the Yumpkin Pumpkin Ale. I thought this would be a good you know a good base of what the rest of them are kind of kind of like so we'll do that and then uh we got this one this one might be probably more available out on the east uh east side of the united states this is dogfish head uh pumpkin ale so this is probably gonna be the more uh i don't know we'll see we'll see this is probably gonna be the more basic but i don't even want to use that word we'll, we'll strike that let's not use the word basic this one right here is a Lakefront Brewing, not uh, not very uh, familiar with them, but this is a Barrel Age Pumpkin Imperial Ale. Don't worry about me drinking all this. This is definitely not going to happen. Um, I'm going to have to have some help. Have to have some help after this one. I'm looking, though. This is from Wisconsin, so if you're up in that area, this might be something you can find. And then this one's New Belgium. I think New Belgium's probably one of the more, out of all these, I mean, Dogfish Head has more national, I feel like, as of now. The New Belgium Atomic Pumpkin Spicy Release. I'm saving this one for last. I, I don't I don't really know what to expect from these. Like I said, I think this is gonna be more of just your standard pumpkin, and then we're gonna go to something a little crazier. But like I said, don't worry about me drinking all this because this is just not gonna happen. I am this is already gonna be probably a struggle as it is. But let's start with the Great Divide. Start with the Great Divide. Like I said, 6.5. 6.5 ABV. Yep. Anything else we need to know? Uh, nothing on the can. I always put tasting notes in there. So uh, we'll do that. But this is kind of one of those things. If, if you uh, want to try something different, especially if you're doing like a Halloween game night, you know, falls here. Pumpkin beers are still popular as far as the fall goes. Let's, uh, let's pour this guy. Let him sit. Might have to pour them all and let him sit. We'll see. Um, get a good look at him. That one's darker. This is a darker one. Um, this is the Yumpkin Pumpkin from Wichita Brewing Company. Sugar and spice and everything nice. Okay. Maybe this one will be uh, I don't know, a little sweeter. 
had a lot of overpressurized cans lately, so I'm very concerned about pouring on camera right now. There we go. This one's a lot lighter. Okay. Very, very interesting. I, I think it's cool to kind of get this color comparison going on. Nothing wrong with seeing, uh, seeing how these are going to look. And then we got the dogfish. The dogfish had pumpkin ale, brown ale brewed with pumpkin and spices. This one's 7%. Did that one have anything on it? I don't think so. I'll, I'll look it up. Like I said, tasting notes. Everything always goes in the description. I'm looking. Um, this is a 2023 off-centered art series by Natalia Balnova. I will say I am a huge fan of can art. I generally think can art is just as cool as like board game art or anything. Let's see what this one looks like. So we got a darker one. We got a lighter one. I don't know what this one's going to look like. Lighter. Oh, even the lightest yet. The lightest yet, Dogfish Head. There we go. And now, this one will probably be darker. Ale brewed with pumpkin, pumpkin pie spice, vanilla, then aged in brandy barrels. Very important as far as what that barrel age tastes like. Anything else we need to know? Besides recycle it. Besides recycle it. I don't see an ABV. I don't. I will say I do. I will give some uh, credit. I got these all locally at a uh, local liquor store. I believe it was uh, Bogart's. So if you are local and uh, you're looking to find out where you can get a good variety of pumpkin spice beers, Bogart's should be able to take care of you. This one's less carbonated, I think, but it's got a very orangish darker amber color almost this is it's crazy to see how all these look differently like i said i have not had any of these even the local yumpkin pumpkin have not had my uh probably i would say the most standard pumpkin beer i've had would have been the jack-o-lantern i believe that is a sam adams i i saw that one i stayed away from it it probably would have been like my uh what are you thinking i'll call it a control control when you're doing an experiment it would have been my control one because i do know what that one tends to taste like and it's it's okay like i said never super impressed with all these but man this is very cool we have a very interesting color combination if i would have known how dark this one was i don't know if i would have put it in its place i'm sorry to look here and go should we swap a couple of these but we will keep that we'll keep that original order and let's let's nose these so Oh man, yeah. I would say the spice is heavier on this one than it is on uh, the pumpkin. Like that, uh, I don't know, you call it like nutmeg? Almost like a nutmeg? Yep, this is what I would, if, if you were uh, going to give this to me just completely blind, I could have told you that was a pumpkin, pumpkin spice beer. I will tell you, I do have my water because like I said, this is a... Uh, New one this more for you guys. I say that, but I'm also curious. Uh, let's see what this one's got. This Yumpkin Pumpkin. Much lighter. Much lighter on the nose. Um, that one's definitely very heavy on the nose. This one's just... I, I get very similar notes. Maybe more pumpkin. Maybe more pumpkin than that spice that I, I was talking about on that last one. Yeah. Yep, I think this one would probably, this one I'd be able to like blindly go, hey, you just, you're making me nose a pumpkin beer. This one, I don't know. I feel like ugh, the notes are there, but it's so much more subdued compared to that. And that may just be me nosing them across the table. Let's see what this one, this one is the Dogfish Head. Okay, now this one's definitely got a bunch of a different, a lot different of a nose on this one. This one actually kind of, you get more of those like standard ale notes in it so i feel like maybe that pumpkin's gonna be a little bit more subdued hard to tell hard to tell but it's crisp it's uh got a lot more brighter notes than any of these have had so far almost like a little bit of sweetness too a little bit of sweetness um all right we're going to this one which i we we can probably all guarantee this one's gonna be a lot a lot different oh yeah oh yeah it's you it's it's brandy you can you can smell the barrel age on it it's it's completely different than the rest of these in fact it's kind of hard to even get like any of the uh, pumpkin the pumpkin spice uh you know the ale notes that i was getting from the dogfish head 
very, very much. Your, I'm, I'm, I don't even think I'm gonna nose this again. I, it's pretty much the barrel age. That's all I'm getting from this guy. And then let's do this guy. Let's uh, taste the the atomic spicy. Wonder if it's spicy because of just the spice from or the the pumpkin, um, or if they actually added a little bit of heat. I, I don't know. I'm sure. Very similar to the dogfish head, I would say there's definitely more pumpkin and more pumpkin spice, getting more of that nutmeg, that cinnamon uh, nose to it than that. But I definitely still kind of get that ale coming through too, which is very interesting because, like I said, the yumpkin was very subdued. I wasn't getting like a ton of like beer ale notes coming through. I was still getting the pumpkin. This one's, yeah, just uh, very very similar to a dogfish head. So we will see. We will see. And like I said, not the biggest fan. This is already like, you guys are going to make me do this? Let, let's check this out. Let's check this out. So, Yumpkin, not uh, Yumpkin, uh, Pumpkin Ale by Great Divide. This is what this first one's going to be. And let's get that first initial taste out of the way. Okay, I will say. Very light on the front, finishes heavy, a bit dry, but I will say for as dark as this is, this isn't bad. This is not, as far as the pumpkin flavors go, I feel like there's a lot more, a lot more beer here than the pumpkin, the pumpkin spice and the that pumpkin pie taste. Definitely a heavier feel. Not bad. I would uh, I would rate this higher than most pumpkin beers I've had. Like I said, it's got that. It's interesting because it's it's so dark. Like I said, I don't have a whole lot on this on here. We'll have to we'll have to get into tasting notes and all. Like I said, oh I always share those. Always share those. But just a lot heavier of a feel. Kind of makes that that pumpkin sweetness like it kind of it kind of brings it down a notch we'll give this one more taste and we'll move on to that yumpkin i don't want to wreck my palate definitely getting the pumpkin earlier on and then that uh that spiciness kind of just fades into that that dark that dark ale i like it it's it's so it's a solid one so far, my favorite. <laughs> so far, my favorite. Let's 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 get a little bit of a cleanse on here, cause I'm thinking that was one that I probably would have put here. As far as overall flavor, trying to make it. Like I said I thought this was gonna be more basic. Definitely not as basic as I thought it was gonna be. I like it. I like it. Good job, Great Divide. I need to go see you guys again. If you guys have not seen my Growler series, check that out. I've went to. Well, I didn't go to these two. But all the other three are, I, I talk about them a little bit. Oh, yeah. Let's get to this Yumpkin. Like I said, this is a local Wichita Brewing Company. Let's see how it compares. Mmm. Very bright on the front end. Very bright on the front end. Crisp. Lots of, lots of flavors going on. And that pumpkin's early. That pumpkin's very early in the initial. This one definitely. Brighter, crispier notes of that pumpkin. Not too sweet. Not too sweet at all. And I think that's the biggest thing about some of these pumpkin these pumpkin crafts are they're too sweet for me. I'm not the biggest fan of heavily sweet things. I think I think if you don't know that about me yet, over hopefully over the next couple months, years, you'll you'll know. I am not gonna I'm not gonna gravitate to things that I think are overly sweet. And this one is not. This one is not overly sweet. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this back end. That's that's kind of where I'm at right now.
I will say it is good. It is good. It is uh, a lot more, a lot more beer than pumpkin. And I will say for me, that's probably a good thing. That's probably for a really, really good thing. But I would say if I'm ranking these right now, I would probably put the Great Divide just, just ahead. And it's only because I think of that that dark ale for me, really hits really hits well for me. This is very, it is a better standard pumpkin beer. Like I said, it's it's not too sweet. Definitely, definitely not just pumpkin. I feel like I've had a few that I just feel like the entire thing is just I'm drinking a pumpkin, and I don't necessarily like that. I don't necessarily like that at all. All right, what do we got here? This is the dogfish head. I'm excited to taste this one. I'm gonna do a quick palate cleanse. All right, what do you got, dogfish head? Oh man. Oh wow, that's interesting. This is not what I expected. Out of all of these, this has the least amount of pumpkin flavor for me. It's very subdued. It's very subdued. Lots of uh, lots of beer notes. Lots of you know, you know, getting the grain. A little malty. Also very crisp. Kind of like this one. These have that in common. Higher, a lot higher notes. This one has a lot heavier notes. Very bright. For a pumpkin beer, if I was recommending a pumpkin beer, I don't know if I would necessarily recommend this out of these so far. These definitely have more pumpkin flavor. But for me, it, it's it's probably a good thing. I'll... <laughs> Very mid notes on that pumpkin. Not a lot of spice. Not a lot of spice either. Which is interesting. Brown ale brewed with pumpkin and spices. Very light brown ale, I will say. I'd say it's it's honestly probably the second lightest out of these. I'd think that'd be more of a brown. Okay, so I do think what I will do though, coming across, I'm gonna swap these. Cause I think this thing's gonna wreck my palate. The, I just from the nose. I think this one will be so different that I'm going to need to taste it last. I want to know what this Atomic Pumpkin tastes like. Huh. Huh. All right, here we go. New Belgium, Atomic Pumpkin, spicy release, has the signature Voodoo Ranger skeleton on it. What do you got for me, New Belgium? Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. I will say out of all these, this is definitely my most traditional, but there is a lot of, there is some spice on the spice. If that makes sense. That Like that nutmeg. Ooh. This is a Voodoo Ranger. I see the little at Voodoo Ranger. Interesting. They didn't put it on there. More spice than pumpkin. I'm gonna tell you right now, the pumpkin's there. Very, very light on the note, on the on the tip. But the spice just comes across and hits you. I can feel it in my throat. It's like I said, you know, that that nutmeg, that cinnamon, that cinnamon spice. Very, very heavy. Very, very heavy. This is not for everyone. This is not for everyone for sure. I would definitely. For a pumpkin, it's definitely more pumpkin than the dogfish head, but. Oh yeah. This is a good decision to do that before that. Very much so. Very interesting. Yeah, like I said, I still kind of get that, that trickle, that spiciness. It's they're not kidding. It is. I was curious whether it was just you know gonna be you know a, 
spice heavy spice heavy pumpkin beer and it is it is definitely spice for it all right let's go back let's do, let's check this last one out this one's gonna be the one that's like none of the rest of them are be the same like i don't even really feel like we can compare these to these just from the nose but let's see what this uh what did i say it was a uh, brandy brandy barrels i don't know the last thing i've had aged in brandy though I've had stuff aged in cognac probably since i've had stuff aged in brandy but oh yeah it's it's you get that brandy sweetness from the barrel age it's so still on the nose all right let's see what's going on here I'm not even sure you can call that a pumpkin beer. I'm not even sure. I get a lot of that brandy barrel age. It was like somebody was like me, and they were like, hey, we're going to do a pumpkin release, but I don't really like pumpkin beers. So let's age it in brandy barrels so you can't taste the pumpkin. That's kind of where I'm at on this guy already, and I've only had one sip on it. It's there, but if you if you've had if you've had anything brandy aged or generally just you know cognac aged barrels, wine aged barrels, it all always adds just a different sweetness, like a different sweetness level that you just don't get with you know your crafts. Like it's it always very hard to explain. I'm definitely, I'm definitely getting the barrel age more than I'm getting anything on this guy. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying if you're looking for a pumpkin beer, this might not necessarily be the one you want to pick up if, if you're, little, if you like pumpkin beers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm getting, I am getting a little bit more of the spice. It's, it's definitely towards the end. The, the barrel age takes over like you get a very initial smooth and then you get this just extended amount of barrel age flavor for the especially with the brandy and then towards the end of that you're getting the you get a little spice come in so it definitely is just for me it's killing the pumpkin there's there's not really much pumpkin in there i'm sure there i'm sure it was a pumpkin beer when they put it in but that that brandy barrel age it just it completely takes it away for me so Let's talk, let's see what exactly my preference, if I was picking these to take for myself. And you gotta know your audience, obviously, but if you're going for something safer, I would definitely probably go with the Yumpkin and then the Pumpkin. If, 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 you want, if you think you would enjoy more of a standard Pumpkin beer, I would definitely go with this Yumpkin. Like I said, not gonna be something that you can find nationwide, but this is probably the most similar to the Jack O' Lantern Sam Adams that out of all of these. They're very all very different. Uh, this one's probably my favorite. The pumpkin, the pumpkin ale from Great Divide is probably my favorite. I, I think it's great. I still get some pumpkin flavor. I still get some spice flavor, but just that darker ale just makes it better for me. It, it just it offsets the sweetness enough that I really am really enjoying it. The Dogfish Head is not bad. There's nothing wrong with the Dogfish Head. It just for me, this is like a pumpkin beer light, and for, I like it, but if you're looking for a pumpkin beer, probably not going to be the one you would pick up. I will, I will say that right now. It's good. It's got early hints, but very much a craft beer. Very much craft beer. Not, the, the pumpkin is not overpowering the actual beer. Very good. This one, like I said, it's got some heat. Probably the next closest to what I would say if you were looking for a pumpkin beer. If you know somebody that, you know, they like they don't mind a little bit of uh cinnamon heat, you know. This would probably be fun. This would probably be fun. And then going back to this lakefront uh barrel age, you don't you probably don't want to pick this up if you're looking for a pumpkin. Um, if you look at your beer, it's it's fine. It's good. It's different. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. In fact, all of these are very, very good. I, I'm not going to say any of them are, are bad. They're just different. And that's kind of what I want to do with this flight. 
I'm gonna do some more stuff hopefully in the future outside of craft beer you know everything else there's a lot of different tastings we can do I just thought this would be a fun one for the season but I would definitely say I would pick the pumpkin I picked that one first this one's my favorite the yumpkin's good to be honest these may be in about the order I would drink them in I, I am I kid you not I would probably uh, go this one this one this one this one and this one ironically that is probably how I would do it uh, as far as my preference uh, your preference obviously gonna be completely different but hopefully this is semi uh, informative I hope you guys if you're looking for like I said if you're looking for a pumpkin beer for yourself or one to take to a game night this is a decent selection hopefully at least one of them you will be able to find I, I felt like uh, there was probably a dozen that I could choose from I just try to pick stuff I hadn't had yet hadn't had any of these so this is all initial reaction uh, obviously not completely blind tasting but very very good I hope you guys enjoyed this one if uh, you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe to see more content like this like this video if you want to see more tastings in the future we have a lot of fun things coming I am back ready to do more content hopefully we'll get some more board games in soon we'll get some more playthroughs I got some very exciting content that is just gonna be like from there and you're gonna be like oh i didn't know you were gonna do that hopefully that is a refreshing surprise for this channel but that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for me so until next time hope you guys have a fantastic day have a happy halloween enjoy your fall and i'll see you guys on the next one much love